In previous screencast we focused on understanding the main difference between Apache and Nginx. Also, I showed an overview of Django application deployment with Apache web server. We did it using modwsgi Apache plugin. However, in previous lesson I skipped the whole installation part. The surprising thing is that you may install a whole Apache web server inside your Python virtual environment. And you can do that with a command as simple as pip install. This Python package modwsgi-httpd will build a binary image of full-fledged Apache web server and make it available inside your Python virtual environment. And the best of all this is that you don't need to do any configuration at all. This is sort of express Django application deployment. Let's see this in action. Here is my Shopix Django applications, which at this moment runs via Django's built-in web server, which is provided by run server command. And what I'll do now, I'll deploy this application in production mode using Apache web server. And what's the most important part, I'll do zero Apache configurations. So first I'll stop my development server, I'll add these two packages, then I'll create a new Python virtual environment, activate it, and inside this activated Python virtual environment I will install all these packages using pip install command. This time pip install command will run unusually long, because during its installation it will compile the whole Apache web server binary from its C sources. And Apache is a big project, so installation of this package may take a while. After pip install command is complete, a new command modwsgi express will be available. But because we are using Django, instead of using modwsgi express this way, I will prefer to use it via Django's manage command. And in order to do that, I will need to include this app in installed apps. And this will add a new command called run modwsgi. Notice that I specified working directory as current one. As you can see, this starts an Apache web server on localhost port 8000. We are still in development mode because ManagePy uses my development settings where I have debug equal true. But this time we are behind Apache web server, which is a full-fledged web server. So let me refresh the application now. Yes, it looks like this because I still didn't configure the static files. You can see that server header is set to Apache because we are behind Apache web server. So here I defined a production version of my settings file where I have debug equal false and where I define static root, static URL, media root and media URL this way. With these settings defined, I will set Django settings module to settings.prod to this file. And with that settled, I can run collect static command now. So this created demo slash static folder where it placed all static files. And with static files in place, I can start again run mod wsj command, but this time with another argument called URL Elias. URL Elias takes two arguments. First is URL and second argument is static root, this one, where static files will be served from. I'll do similar thing for media files for this part. As you can see, this command gets pretty long and it's inconvenient to use it this way. We'll fix this issue in a minute. So for now, let's run run modwsgi command this way. And let's see in browser. Great, it works. Running Django application with run modwsgi this way is a good start because this command, among other issues, is just too long to type. So what we can do instead we can make use of another two very important options. First one is setup only. This option will generate Apache production ready configuration for us. And this option server root place generated configuration files into a specific folder. And besides configurations, it will place an Apache CTL binary there. Let me show you. So I will generate Apache configurations using these options. At the end of this long command, I will add setup only and I will instruct run modwsgi command to generate these options 
in demo etc shopix. Notice that this folder exists and it's empty. Let me show you. And now if I go to this folder, I can see all files generated by run mod wsgi command. And among others, you can see Apache CTL. So at this moment, I can start and stop my production ready Django application with Apache. And notice that I, I use dot slash Apache, which means I will use Apache CTL binary from this folder, which was generated a minute ago. I can start and stop Django application with Apache CTL start or stop commands. So starting application this way, let's double check that application is not running at this moment. So you see nothing runs on port 8000. And if I do Apache CTL start, Voila, it starts my Django application in production mode using Apache Web Server. And while in this folder I can stop my application with Apache CTL stop. Let's take care of this warning, which basically says alias directive in this line will never match. So let's check that. So line number 718. As you can see, there are two similar lines for demo static. So let's get rid of one of them. I'll remove second one. And now let's start Apache CTL again. This time it starts without any warning. And voila, application runs. Run mod WSGI command provides a very, very long list of Apache specific options. You can specify port number, user, group, certificates, HSTS policy, and so on and so forth. So basically, even in your development environment, you can test your application with Apache Web Server. And when you are done, you can just use setup only and server root options to generate Apache settings for your production. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. 